Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for my review of Crystallized Episode 16, Darkness Within. Ruby and the Crystal Council return with the Golden Weapons, which they plan to use for a ritual. Meanwhile, back at the subway tunnel, the ninja are about to die, but Nia as Samurai X comes in and saves them, as she takes them to the Samurai X cave, which marks its first appearance since Season 7. Back at the Crystal King Temple, the villains start to go through this ritual, and they turn the Golden Weapons into these Crystal Weapons. The Overlord, as the Crystal King, returns and takes physical form, and he tells Lloyd that it ends now. Another fantastic episode for Crystallized, and in this one we see more of Ruby and Lloyd's dynamic. We see him telling her that he hates her and wants her to pay, and I like that we're seeing Lloyd leading more into his Odie instincts. In particular, I really like the references to the Great Devourer, and how Lloyd compares Ruby to it, as this force of evil that took so much from others. The episode later makes a good case as to why Ruby joined the Overlord because she sees that if one side wins, there will be peace. And yeah, I think this provides a stronger justification for Ruby choosing to go with the Crystal King rather than accepting her fate. We see some more interactions between the four original ninja. Mostly casual stuff, but also not really casual because they're about to die. I feel like this scene nicely highlights the relationship between these four. And I also love seeing Cole using his Earth powers. They look very nicely animated. I also really enjoy the scene where Nia informs the ninja of everything that happened their reactions to Ruby being alive, and also the Overlord theme being played when she speaks about the monastery being destroyed. It's also nice to see the Samurai X cave back. Of course, it's been a while, it's been five years, we haven't seen it since Season 7, and now that the monastery is pretty much gone, it feels right to bring back one of these older bases. The reunion between Wu and the ninja feels like something out of old Ninjago, just with the music and the overall atmosphere. And then we get to the ritual scene. This is a very good scene, that is really similar to Garbodon's revival in Season 8, with some exact lines being copied word for word. This episode has so many awesome callbacks, not just to the earlier seasons, but even the middle seasons, and I really love how this episode is making us relive the past. Pythor mimicking Asphira is hilarious, and their relationship has been very funny in this season so far. Asphira's magic abilities are definitely focused on here, as she is the one who conducts the ritual, and I like how we see the weapons transform into these evil variants. It's such a cool idea. It's done so well here. The Overlord's return in physical form is one of the best scenes this season has offered so far. It feels so ultimate. It feels like a really big deal, just with the music, which is super tense, and the animation of the Overlord emerging from this crystal, and his voice. It's the same actor, but it's different in this season, and it's good. I love the callback to the final battle, and the Overlord saying that it ends now. The final clips show the background behind the Overlord fading to black. This is an excellent parallel to the final battle, in which of course there was just darkness and we only saw the Overlord Dragon's head. Jay's song or dance whatever I found to be pretty annoying, not really too funny, but I feel like a bigger concern I guess I have for the season as a whole is I feel like they haven't really justified a great reason for Harumi to be back. Her story was closed and now that she's here, I don't know if this season needed her. We've seen a lot of the same between her and Lloyd in episodes 13, 14, and 16, and don't get me wrong, it's good. But is it enough to justify her return? I'm not sure of that yet. I feel the plot of this episode was really good. I like how we saw two sides of the story with the ninja and also with Lloyd at the Crystal Temple. The Overlord was definitely the star character here. His return was phenomenal. I think it was just a very well-crafted scene. And of course, Ruby and Lloyd were also good, as well as the original four ninja interacting. I mean, no real bad characters here. No big fight scenes here, but I really liked seeing the ninja escape from the tunnel. The golden weapon ritual scene was also great, and the emotion was very strong between Lloyd and Harumi. This episode gets another 10 out of 10 for me. I think it is definitely a very important Ninjago episode. We see the return of Ninjago's main villain, the biggest villain of the series, and it feels like Crystallized is starting to get very climactic. We're heading towards a huge finale, and the episodes are definitely showing that. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, Share with anyone different you know. Share your thoughts on episode 16, Darkness Within, below. And I'll see you guys next time.